Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet a messy lace skirt It is a part of my crochet bikini cover-up set You can find a part 1 or tutorial of the top in my previous video or you can check the link down below in the description box so for the texture or the stitches pattern of the skirt, it is the same thing like the part 1. It's just a little bit different like showing you how to measuring and make your own size of the skirt. Ok now without further ado, let's get started. I just want to remind you again that this stitches pattern is a combination of some basic stitches like double crochet, half double crochet, chain, triple crochet, and some stitch that I create. You just combine those stitches together, play around with it, make the stitches and the row disorder. To begin, make a slip knot. Then chain 4 After you got 4 chains, then skip 3 chains and make 2 double crochet into the 4th chain After you got 2 double crochet in the same loop, next for row 2, chain 3. For chain 3, we also count it as a stitch, turn your work, then make the double crochet into the stitch near chain 3. And next, chain 1, skip 1 stitch and make the double crochet into the next stitch which is the chain 3 stitch. And this is what it looks like. Next, for row 3, chain 3, turn your work, then make the double crochet into the same loop near chain 3. Next, chain 1, skip 1 stitch and make the double crochet into the next stitch. After you have made a double crochet, then chain 1 and make a double crochet into the chain 3 stitch which is the last stitch. And next, for row 4, please repeat row 3. By chain 3, turn your work, then make a double crochet near chain 3. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch and make a double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat this again by chain 1, skip 1 stitch and make a double crochet into the next stitch. And next, chain 1 and make a double crochet into the last stitch which is chain 3 stitch. And this is what it looks like and now you got a little triangle. And next, turn your work to the other side. And we are going to working the new row into this side. To begin, chain 1 and make single crochet. Next, I'm gonna make a new stitch. I call it chain like double crochet. We pull the loop on the hook a little bit loose. Then use the middle finger to hold this loose loop. And next, insert the hook into the next loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through one loop, and yarn over again, pull through all two loops. And this is how I create this new stitch. And next, chain 3, and skip some few stitches the same length like the chain 3, then make triple crochet into the next stitch as you can see. Up 
after you have made a triple crochet and as you can see the stitches of the row looking like from low to high and next let's add one more triple crochet into the last stitch which is at the end of the row and this is what it looks like we want to create this triangle piece into a rectangle piece and for the next row you just chain three then turn your work and we are going to combine the stitches of the bokeh shade with some loose chain and the new chain that I create. You just mix up those basic stitches. Start from now on, you don't have to follow the same stitches that I made. You just mix up those basic stitches by yourself, play around with it. Make the stitches disorder from the row below. And after you reach the end of the row, and now you can see clearly of the rectangle shape. It's okay if the stitches of the row don't look perfect in shape. And for the next next row, you just repeat the same thing by combining the stitches together. For start a new row, you can always start with chain 3, then make the bokeh shade, and then start mix with another stitches. And if you guys want the stitches of the pattern have like big hole or small hole, you can just make more chains and skip the stitches of the row below. The same measurement like the chain that you made. Like I said, you just play around with it. At the end of your work, you will got the same texture or the same messy, distressed stitches looking like mine. So after I reach the end of the row, and next, I want to switch and make the new row into the other side of the rectangle. I switch the row whenever I feel like the stitches of the row below and the row above look kinda in order. So I want to switch it to make it messy and make the shape grow bigger. And after you reach the end of the row, and as you can see, it's giving a messy lace or distressed look. So I'm gonna turn to the other side and add a new row into it. So start from now on, like I said, you just play around with the stitch and add the new row around each side of the rectangle to make it grow bigger. You just add more row and more row until you got the width or the height of the skirt. Add the new row around each side of the rectangle to make it grow bigger. You just add more row and more row until you got the width or the height of the skirt. For the width or the height of my skirt, it is equal 10 inches. 
If you guys want your skirt more longer, you just add more row. And after you got the height or the width of your skirt, and next you just continue add more rows, working on the length way, which is the measurement around your waist. And for the small rectangle piece, it is just a sample of my skirt. And for the actual length of my skirt, it is equal 28 inches. It's the measurement around my waist. For the waist measurement, it is the lower waist. And after you got the length fit or a little bit bigger than your lower waist. And next, I'm gonna show you how to attach this piece together and may increase for your hip size or hip measurement. So next, we are going to start working from the waist down until the hip and until the end of the row. To begin, continue from where the last stitch is and we are going to work in the stitch into this corner loop. First, chain 1 and then continue as the hook into the other side which is the corner loop. Then yarn over and now you have two loops on the hook. Then yarn over, pull through one loop and yarn over again, pull through all two loops. It is just like we made the new stitch that are called chain like double crochet. And this is what the waist hole looks like. And next, we are going to make the stitches of the skirt from narrow to wider because we want it bigger at the hip part. You just add more stitches into the first side and connect it with the other side. So next, continue from where your last stitch is and chain 1. Just repeat the stitch called chain like the bulker sheet. And then turn your work and we are going to connecting the stitch into the other side by make a double shade. And this is what it looks like. And next, turn your work, chain one and make the stitches that I create. Remember, you have to make it loose because we want to extend the stitches to make it more wider for the hip part. And next, chain two and turn your work. Then make the bulk shade into the other side. And as you can see, the stitches keep increase and make it look more wider. So from now on, you just repeat the same thing. Turn your work to the other side and make the stitches that I just create. And then you can chain 2 or chain 3 and make a loose double crochet into the other side. And for the next next row, I'm gonna show you how I add more stitches into the new row until I reach the edge of the skirt so you can see what the process looks like.
this is what it looks like after you have attached both sides together and reached the edge of the skirt. As you can see the sample, the skirt keep going wider at the bottom of the skirt. You guys can try it on and see what it looks like. If it's too tight, you can remove and redoing it by add more stitches and make the stitch loose. And next, I'm gonna show you how to make this wave V at the bottom of the skirt. As you can see on my actual skirt, if you guys want a straight edge, you can skip it. And next, Continue from where your last stitch is, start a new row with chain 2, then make the bokeh shade and then we are going to make the messy stitch looking by combining the basic stitches together. Just play around with the stitch until you got some few inches, like about 3 or 4 inches. And then turn your work and repeat the messy stitch. So for the new row, you just make less stitch. We want to make this curved part or the wave part from wide to narrow. After you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch, chain 1 and cut off the yarn. As you can see on this sample, we got a small curve or a small wave at the edge of the skirt. So for your actual skirt, you have to repeat the same thing after you cut off the yarn and you start to attach your yarn into the next part of the edge. Repeat around for 3 or 4 spots around the edge of the skirt. And after you have made the curved edge or the wave V edge, and next, we are going to make a double crochet around the edge as a border. You can continue from where your last curve is or you can start attach the new yarn into any loop of the stitch and then make a half the bulk of shade. And next, make the bulk of shade into the next 4 stitches. For this part, you're just guessing it by making the bulk of shade not too close or too far from each other. We don't want the edge look too wavy or too tight. After you have made 4 double crochet, then make a half double crochet. And next, make single crochet into the next stitch. Keep repeating this by make a half double crochet. And then make the double crochet into the next 6 stitches. Next, make half the bulk crochet. Then, end with a single crochet. Keep repeating this around until you reach the end of the row. Then, we meet you back again. And after you reach the end of the row, then we are going to make slip stitch into this first half the bulk crochet stitch. Chain one and cut off the yarn. And this is what the edges of the skirt looks like. As you can see, the edges look wavy. And next, we are going to make the bulk crochet row around this waist part. To begin, attach the yarn into any loop of the stitch. Then chain 3. And next, make the bulk crochet into each stitch around. Make sure that the stitch is not too close or too far away from each other. If you make the stitches too close, this border of the waist part will look stretchy and loose or wavy. And if you make the bokeh shade far away from each other, the row or this waistline will look tight and not straight. And 
this is what it looks like after you reach the end of the row and next we are going to continue make slip stitch into the first double crochet stitch then chain 1 and cut off the yarn and this is what the border around the waist looks like it looks straight not stretchy or tight and next we are going to make the string to weave in around this double crochet row for the string to tie the waist part you just make a long foundation chains and then weave in this foundation chains into the double crochet row around the waistline you can adjust the waist and for secure the skirt and now we are done and this is what the messy lace skirt looks like as you can see for this small sample the stitches of the skirt it look distressed messy the same like this actual skirt and if you like this tutorial please don't forget to click like and leave a positive comment down below and i will see you guys in the next tutorial bye bye